In September, two-year-old Bertha Algarin walked into her neighbor's yard. Inside, the neighbor's dog attacked. En su gargantita tiene también, mira. Bertha bears five bite marks on her neck and face. Her attacker, this collie mix. Animal control took the dog. A judge ordered it not to return home. A judge also aimed to fine the dog's owner $1,500 and have her pay Bertha's medical bills. Which, in my opinion, was it was totally ludicrous. Attorney John Shergold represented dog owner Esmeralda Cantu for free. I felt bad for Mrs. Cantu. He says he did so to stop Cantu's case from becoming a legal example. If this wrong had not been righted, if this case had not been dismissed as it should have been, never brought to begin with, then every person in the city of Brownsville would have been looking at being held responsible for a trespasser, for an indiv individual had no business on their property, for a person that may uh, have, for example, just gone onto someone's property uh, but mistakenly, and then uh, encounter a, a, a dog. Cantu is grateful for Shergold's help. It's the prayer and answered prayer. It's the miracle that somebody would help me because I was, I have nobody, and I was just going to take it, whatever they gave me. Shergold says Brownsville police need to investigate Bertha's mom for negligence. We would like to know why Child Protective Services wasn't contacted at the time of this incident and why the Brownsville Police Department did not investigate. But Brownsville Police say that they are looking into what happened. They could not comment on their investigation because they say it's still pending. Relieved from the outcome of her case, Cantu is gaining confidence. She and Shergold now intend to get the accused dog back home. Unfortunately, 